All right. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Coming week in and week out, we prophesied a downfall and destruction of this wicked kingdom. Known as Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, spiritual Sodom in Egypt. But first, we'd like to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Basim, Yahweh, Basim, or Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. And enough respect to you brothers that's laboring in this truth, making your calling and election sure. It's uh, Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. They that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. That's right, man, and that's what we're doing now, man. We are the watchmen, man. We're the watchmen. We see it coming down the pipes, and we let you know, man, this is the ultimate mercy, this is the ultimate love, and this is the ultimate compassion for our people. No movement, no Black Lives Matter movement can do this. Can do what we're doing, man. You know, this is the, this is the most high, this is the most high extending himself to you. Because he's not going to come down here and speak to you. So we're the watchmen, man. We're the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father, man. We're talking to the children of Israel. You guys are the real, true biblical Israelites. We come out here to let you know the most high is going to bring destruction on this place. This loop chapter 1 and verse 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which he have been since the world began that's right the most high speaks by the mouth of his prophets man so he speaks and you, you may not know it you may not be able to perceive it you know because the scripture talks about um to think the, the uh the spiritual things are foolishness unto them. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. You know, these things are their foolishness unto the unto the un, untrained uh, eye, man. Those without the eye cell, this may be this may be perceived as being silly or stupid. But this is actually the power of God, of Yahweh unto salvation. This first Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. That's right. The natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the heavenly father, man, because they are spiritually discerned, man. You got to have eye salve to see that this is the most high extending himself to you. And, you know, I know in some people's minds they're thinking they've said that before. No, this has been said before. You know, and the world continues as it always has. You know, the world has continued as it always has. Let me plug my ears and not hear what these brothers are saying. Because tomorrow I'm going to wake up and it's going to be, it's going to all be the same. But don't get it twisted. This is the most high giving you an opportunity for repentance. Mm -hmm. Yep. This Revelations chapter 3, verse 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. That's right, man takes the prophets to show you that man because you think you may be in good case because you got a bag you think that you got the bag you think that you're in good standing man but all, but but it takes it takes the most high to reveal that to you man that you you're really in bad case you know because you get you're, you're, you think that you're prospering but that's not prosperity at all man that's not true riches this is actually true riches man because they got they got celebrities they got people that have things but but they're but they're still um, they're searching for answers. You know you got P Diddy burning sage. You know he's looking he's trying to find an answer, man. He's as a crime for wine. Yep. As a crime for wine. wine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no. Yep. 
This uh Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 15. But Jeshurun wax fat and kick. Thou art waxing fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. That's right, man. Just Sharon, that's Israel, man. Mm -hmm. He's referring to Israel when he's talking about Just Sharon, and they uh -huh. wax fat. Yep. You know, in the Most High, the, the scripture talks about the harlot houses. It says, I fed you. Mm. I fed you, Salaki. I'm going to pull that real quick out because that goes exactly with that, uh -huh. man. Uh -huh. um, but it, but he, can you read that one more time? Uh -huh. Yep, yep, yep. It's uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse 15, but Jeshurun wax fat and kick. Thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. That's right, that's right, man. Because you, you know, you, you, the Most High has sustained you and has done and, and has been very kind to you. But you, but you haven't seen, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't consider, man. You don't know where your help is coming from. You don't know that the Most High has been helping you all along. Can you go to Jeremiah five and seven. Nine? Yeah, I got you. Yep. That's the spirit I was thinking about Jeremiah five, but it's not that verse. Bro. I'm mm -hmm. about that chapter. It's uh Jeremiah. It's, like it's, Jeremiah. it's Jeremiah chapter five. In verse 7, it says, How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, right. they then committed adultery. That's right, man. The Most High had fed you to the full, and then you committed adultery. You, you know, you've waxed fat, just like it was saying in the other one. Con, I fed you to the full. Yes, yep. uh -huh. this, no, yes, a little bit more. Yep. I'll start right from the top. This is Jeremiah 5 and 7. It says, how shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods. When I had fed them to the full, they then committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlot houses. Mm -hmm. The harlot houses, that's the, that's the modern day churches, man. Because all it is, is uh, all your bishops and your preachers are, they're glorified uh, motivational speak, uh, speakers, man. They hit you with one scripture, and then there'll be motivational speakers from there from there on out, man. So they really that's really it's really a harlot house, man. You know, they're not they're not feeding you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They're not giving you uh the real uh, uh meaning of, of the actual text, man. Because if you had the real meaning of the text, then you 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 know you would look at the scripture completely you would look at the Bible completely different. It's like what I tell you, when, when, that, when that word come out, the folks are scattered. I told you, but I'm both right. Don't be fun. I'm worried. They're going to get there when they get there. It's the spirit. God. It's the spirit. It's like. Oh, shit. God, I told you, we're going to get the hell up out of here, bro. I thought about that. I see you, bro. You see that whole block down there clear? That shit was cool. God, God, dude. That's why the scripture, we need to pull that to it. Which one? It's not just a. It says the word is not just faith. It's not just a, a, a word, but in, uh, the kingdom. Power. The kingdom is not just a word, but in power. Let me put like I'm gonna give it I got this one for you too. Time. This uh second Ezra. You found it up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bring it. Up. This is First Corinthians four and twenty. It says, "For the kingdom of Yahweh is not in word, but in power." Mm. You know, so <laughs> so the kingdom of, the, of Yahweh is not just in word, but it's in power, man. You know, so we speak in these words to you, but it, it may seem just like it, like it's just uh, it has no no type of power to it. But actually, it's it's, it's powerful, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is the, this, this, these, these words come straight from on high, man. Mm -hmm. You know, through our power, man, yep. our power source. No, and that's why the, the scripture says about it, if there's any error found in these people, mm. then we, then we, because that, that means you're disconnected from your power oh, source. Yep. Then, um, then, then, then anybody can do anything to you. That's yep. why they kill you like dogs in the street. Yep. That's why they murder you like a dog in the street because you're disconnected from your power source. Mm -hmm. and no, no amount of marching, no amount of anything is going to be able to deliver you from that situation, man. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. Yep. You, you, uh, oh, I got the other piece too, but I'm bringing this out just quickly. This uh, Hebrews chapter four and verse 12. 
It says, for the word of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right, man. The scripture can discern your thoughts, man. You know, it can... When you go into the heart, it's talking about your la'ab. It's talking about your mind, man. This thing can get to the heart of the matter. You know, it can get to the heart of the matter. Why are you really doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. You know, and it cuts you deep. It makes you want to come outside, come out of your folly. You uh -huh. know? And we know through the scriptures that folly is set in great dignity. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and a lot of times the people that you that you look up to, you know, these people, they're 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 they're, they're uh they're operating in, in folly, man, and you stole it to the clouds. That folly that he's speaking on. <laughs> you stole it to the clouds, all that folly. Uh. This Luke, chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, They are they which justify yourselves before men. But Yahweh by Shemal Shad know if your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of Yahweh by Shemal Shad. Right, man. Those things that are highly esteemed among y'all is an abomination to the heavenly Father. And what do you what do you highly esteem out here? What do you what do you, you esteem going out and getting a bag? You know, getting some money. You know, what do you what else do you esteem? You know, getting, getting women. A, women. You know, you chasing women all around town. You know, cars, you, cars, money, clothes, and hoes. Yeah, God. You esteem all of this stuff, man. Nah. But that's not that. What does it say? It says that the Most High. It says the Most High uh, looks right. down on that stuff, yeah. man. He looks down on that. That's nothing to him. Yep. You know why it's nothing to the heavenly Father? Because it's because he's, he, he's, he prepared a place of rest for Jacob, man. And, it, and, it's, it, it, and he said, I, I, the, the sufferings that you're going through now, they can't even compare to the place that he has prepared for you. Mm. So while you're bigging up this, this, you know, having a having a, a, a drop head and having some 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 lady in the side in the, in the side with you, and you're smoking on some weed, you know what I'm saying, or you plotting on how you're going to kill your brother. You know, these things, are, this is all folly, man. You know, you got to come out of that, Israel. Hey, hey, hey. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm this uh, Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Yea, are they which justify yourselves before men. But you how about Shemal Shad know if your hearts for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of you how about Shad. Yeah, it's an abomination, man. You know, it's an abomination. What do you, what, what, what do you, oh, you esteem eating a, a, a lobster dinner? <laughs> a lobster dinner? That's wild. That's uh, an abomination to the Heavenly Father. Yeah, that's, you, that's a good point. You know? Cut Salaki to cut you up, but that, that's, a, that's a beautiful point. Mm -hmm. Because you look at crab legs and lobsters as a delic delicacy, but the Heavenly Father, he looks at that like, that's the, you know, that's that's the, uh, what, what you call it, that clean it? Uh, oh, 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 that's a, a bottom feeder. Yeah, that's a bottom feeder, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You, you're looking at it like a, a top feed, but that's a bottom feed to y'all by Shemiah Osha. That's right. You know? Right, bro. This, uh, you guys, you guys, something up? Oh, I wanted to bring out that one piece that I about how things continue since I'm Oh, okay, I got you. Okay. I got you. Let me, I'm gonna bring this real quick. This Luke, chapter 12, verse 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. This is how Osha speak. Don't, don't, bro. For a man's life consists of not in the abundance of things which he possesses. That's right, man. Your, your life doesn't consist in, a, in the abundance of things that you possess. You know, because the scripture talks about when you die, you leave those to another person anyway. Yeah. 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 Let's just say the most high. Which is gonna say no, I was just saying, uh, King Solomon, who was the wisest man to walk the earth, by the way, he said that's an unruly evil. Yeah, God, bro. <laughs> God. Let's just say the most high, because uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, most high is the one that kills you. You right. know, he, he sends he sends the message for you to be killed. Right. You know, he, he goes the ahead. He, he sends the messenger of death <laughs> to come for you. Yep. So let's just say he sends him for you. You got all this jewelry, all these cars, all these clothes, all these hoes, right? All right bro. Mm -hmm. And then the most high sends you to get your head knocked off. Uh, Who's gonna get this stuff? Right. You know? So that's why that's why the most high all of these things that you're esteeming is nothing, man. Right. Yo, all kinds of like it. This uh, oh, you good? I got you. This uh, Luke, chapter twelve, verse fifteen, and he said unto them, "Take heed and beware of covetousness, mm -hmm. for a man's life 
consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. That's right, man. So you don't need to be eyeing your, eyeing your brother's stuff, looking at his stuff, you know, trying to come up on him. You know, because that's wicked as hell, man. That's wicked. You're looking at your brother because he got something. Or you want to get his woman. You're looking at his woman. You want to pop his woman. You know, you want to pop his woman. You know, it's all kinds of women out here. Why you want to pop your brother's woman? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to pop her, though. Is well. You know, she thick. Done, huh? She thick. I want her. I want to pop her. Nah, why, why you want to pop his woman? That, that's why I say it's, it's not a such thing uh, more wicked than a covetous man. It don't get more wicked because he said it's his own vows to sell, man. Nah, you know? Nah, bro. And the, and, the, and the thing of it is, is that, you know, which... Yeah, how about she now <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that's right, That's brother. beautiful. He revealed the name to him. That's right. Hey, that's, that's, that's beautiful. That's good, man. That's what's yeah. up. But you know, they, 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 that's how it is, though, bro. You know, they want to they wanna, they wanna have another man's things. <laughs> God, uh, you know, like, yeah, how about some young shot? You know, Lord willing, I hope you ain't been knowing this for too long. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. ass need to be out here. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm God, saying? God, bro. Yeah, but you know, Jake loved to do that. Yeah, God, they speak about that in Ezekiel 33. Uh, uh, yeah, can yeah, I pull that real quick? Uh, yeah, yeah, can select, select you, uh, <laughs> just real quick. Cause Jake do love to do they, they what, take part in another man's goods, like in session though, you know. Like, hold on, hold on. You in our labors. Come on. <laughs> right, go. You, you. It's cool, you know the name. That's beautiful. Yeah. But get out here and prophesize. That's even more beautiful. Yeah. Like we was going into earlier, you better labor to God. enter into your rest. Nah, nah. You gotta labor. Nah. Most high ain't giving out no freebies Hell out here. No. Bro, you can even come out here. Yeah, but I still won't, <laughs> won't, won't give you salvation. God. Just because you come out here and teach, it's not a guarantee that God. the Lord is going to save you, God. you know? Or he might save you. He might he might save you for a mission. God. He might save God. you for that. God, no. Yeah, no. but you're right, bro. We, 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 we got it. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yep. This uh, Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 30. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. And speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, mm. but their heart goeth after their covetousness. That's right. That's, that's with, that's their, right. with their mouth they show much love, uh. but with their heart they go after much covetousness, man. That's because they want to ride by and say, hey, Shalom. Uh. But then they want to continue in wickedness. Right. Uh, no. You know? Yep. So that's how it go, man. You want to you show, show love, then you want to continue in, in, in wickedness. Man. That's, just what, that's how Jake is, though. Uh, bro, <laughs> you know? They, they want to have a cake and a ice cream. God. Well, yeah, how about you not say that? Giving you cake and ice cream out here, man. God. And know? even the Most High said that. He said they, they, they draw near with, to me with their mouth. I was just thinking it. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's the well, spirit. How you doing, brother? I got you. I Because even the that. Most High know, know that game. Yeah. That's a game. <laughs> Jake, Jake think he can play the game. God. Most High played the game the smoothest. God, bro. He Jake. invented the game. <laughs> right. Ultimate Jake. Yeah, bro. You know? He puts you in the trick bag. God, no. God. This uh, yeah, uh Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said. Ooh, I just thought about something too. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Yeah, how was that? My shot quoted the scripture. They got Lord and lowercase right here. So this was really a prophecy. Wow. Because it said, wherefore the Lord said. Mm. The Lord, yeah, how was that? My shot, he did say this. He mm. quoted the scripture. You know? Nice. Ooh, that's, that's nice. That's guy. heavy. I just, it just hit me right here. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. It says, uh, this is Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Yeah, huh, man. So the most high understands that, man. You know, you draw, you draw near to him with your mouth. You know, you say stuff with your mouth, but then your your, your feet and your actions do something completely God, different. Uh, yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you hit the shalom and then you keep it pushing in, the, in your whip. Right, God. You know, the 
both sides not looking for that, man. He said he'll spew you out if you lukewarm. Woo! Kind of. You know, if you yeah, lukewarm. Yeah, yeah, that's a dangerous game to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't he don't play that. He don't play them type of games. Nah. Like, you you know the name. You've been shown much more than men know. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to build off that foundation, man. And that's why the scripture says that he that knew, knew his, his, uh, his master's will will be beaten with many stripes. Ah, yeah, I was just thinking of that, too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, go on. It's a little bit more than Ezekiel 33. God. It's back in Ezekiel 33, and I read 31 again. It says, And they come unto thee as the people come, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Mm -hmm. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely son mm -hmm. of one that have a pleasant voice. And can play well on an instrument, mm -hmm. for they hear thy words, but they do them not. God, they look as we're a lovely song to some of, some of our people, man. God. They come, we come out here, you know, we got the garments on, we got the traditional garments on, you know, we out here speaking, thus saith the Lord. They come out for entertainment, man. Yep. And like one of the brothers said, they really want something bad to happen to us on camera. Mm. You that's know, it. that's wicked. That's wicked as hell. God, bro. That's covetousness. Yeah. Yeah, you want to see something bad happen to us. We out here trying to give you the power, give you, uh, lead you into uh, you into righteousness so that you can inherit the kingdom. That's wild. And you want to see something bad happen to us while we're out here prophesying. Well, well what it say? Wh whosoever rewarded evil uh, for good, evil shall not depart from his house. Mm. You know? And our people know, man, because our people, they, they understand. You know, that's why you can rarely ever find our people that's atheists, man. Right. Our people aren't atheists because nah. they believe in the Most High. Right. You know, that's why people, every single one of them out here, man, they all believe in the Most High. Nah. You know, they respect the Most High. They respect the word of the Heavenly Father. Nah. You know, but it, but they just, they still got that little, you yeah. know, that little thing to them. It's a zeal, but not according to knowledge. It's a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Nah. But they respect the Heavenly Father, but yeah. they not like how Edomites is, how right. white people are. Right, yeah. They, they, they have no regard, no respect right. for the Heavenly Father. Nah, nah. Because they, they, they're not spiritually connected. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Gone, gone. they don't have a spirit. Gone, you know? Our people at least be like, whoa, 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 the most high might kill me about that. Most high might like they kill just me. know that even if they don't believe it, they know in a spirit, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, we, let me gone. let me not try that. You know, gone, bro. That's why it says they have they have conscience. We might as well pull that in. I think it's in Hebrews. All right, go. Um, you know how it talks about um oh, that they do those soup? things, they oh, yeah, do those things that's contained in yeah, the law gone. without necessarily knowing. Yeah, that's it. their Romans too. Y'all y'all put me on that one. Yeah. Let me I'm gonna bring this out real quick, all right? This is Matthew chapter 11. Oh, it's a little bit more than Ezekiel 32, but I'm gonna bring this up. This uh Matthew chapter 11, verse 16. But but where I'm going wrong at the head, bro. I'm going wrong. You're a young, you're a young breath that brother, bro. I'm going bald. I already got a man, you know, that's a guy that bro. For real. I see it like you're a good one. You gonna put down the weed? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna put down, you're gonna yeah, stop smoking. Yeah, you, you lying before the Lord. You know, this the altar, man. This uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 16. It says, But where unto. If you, if you stay and listen to the word. This Matthew 11 and 16. But where unto shall I liken this generation? It is like it, like unto children sitting in markets and calling unto their fellows. And say, and that's what we're doing right now. We're calling unto our fellows. We're calling unto our fellows. And we're speaking to you right now. We're calling unto our fellows. We're in the chief place of concourse. This is the chief place of concourse. Brothers is going up and down the street, to and fro. All the children of thy people, they all here right now. So it's in all you're hearing. We're speaking, thus saith the Lord. We're calling to our fellows. Son, what, what this is Ecclesiastes 40 and 28. Uh -huh. My son, you're too far. Start at 20, 25. 
Ecclesiastes is 40. 25. Uh -huh. Gold and silver make the foot stand straight. Uh -huh. So, gold and silver make the foot stand straight. Yeah. 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 Gold and silver make the foot stand short. Money is a defense. Money is a defense. I was just thinking, I was just going to quote that. Yep. Yeah. 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 But the council is esteemed above them both. But council is esteemed above them both, man. All right, so you asking for money, water, you know, a hat to wear, you know, look cool. That's cool and everything. <laughs> That'll make sure you straight. But the counsel of the Lord is esteemed above all that, you know. And the little basic stuff you said, they can't even compare to gold and silver. Is a man's life about, about bread and, and about meat? Nah, nah. That's not the abundance of a man's life. Nah, bro. About bread and meat, what you gonna eat the next day? Nah, bro. You know, what, what this council right here nah. is above all. Nah, because nah. This, could, this could, uh, you know, this is gonna keep you stable in time of trouble. Nah. Why, why is it the salvation? Because it says riches profit not in the nah. day of wrath. Nah, bro, but righteousness delivered from, from death. death. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So it says, uh, gold and silver make the foot stand short, uh -huh. but counsel is esteemed above them both. Uh -huh. It says, riches and strength lift up the heart. Yeah, so riches and strength, they lift up the mind. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I got the Glock 40. <laughs> I could back somebody down with the Glock 40. God, I, I got... I got the I got the Lambo. I could pull up on these hoes. They gonna choose up. Yep. You yep, know. Yep. I got I got I got a pocket full of racks. You know what I'm saying. I got a pocket full of racks. That's right. You know what I'm saying. I could go buy what I want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it lift it lift your heart up. Yeah. yeah. You know? That's why that's why the rap niggas be like, oh, I'm that nigga. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. What's the, you heard that song? He be like, I'm that nigga. Something, yeah. something. I'm that nigga. Yeah. He be talking about all the shit he got. Yeah. And that's why he that nigga. You know. God. So that's how our people feel. They feel like the, the possessions and the things that they have or the things that they can attain make them something, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, that, don't, that don't mean nothing because you got, you got some things. No, it's, it's nothing for the most high to make a man rich. No, bro. It's nothing. It's nothing. No, bro. It says, um, it says, and the scripture also says, labor not to be rich. Ooh. The scripture says, labor not to be rich. Dang, uh, can you get uh, St. John 6 or 27 real yeah, quick? because the sister. It says that your, this soul may be quiet, required tonight. Nah, bro. God, nah. We can, jump, we, can, we can jump back to that. No, you good. We can jump back to St. John 6 and 27. We can, we can jump back to that. Wait, I want to get this real quick. St. John 6 and 27. It reads, St. John 6 and 27. Labor not for the meat. Which perishes. You labor not for the meat that perishes, man. You know, and this is how I sound my shop speaking, man. You know? But for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. But the meat that endureth unto everlasting life, man. You know? Which lets you know that there's meat that's more than physical meat. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. It says, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. Which the Son of Man shall give unto you. Yeah. For him hath Yahweh the Father sealed. For, for him have Yahweh the Father sealed, man. You know, which that that link up with St. John 14 and 22. Oh, 26. I will send you unto you the God sent comforter. That's right, bro. You know, that's right, bro. Because this is it's ultimate riches, huh? Nah, nah. You know, because this is gonna lead to a kingdom. Nah. It says if you desire scepters and thrones, nah. then you better seek after wisdom. Wisdom, yep. Yep. No? Nah, bro. Um, there was more on that? Oh, I think that was it. Okay, okay. Time. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pull that one free too. It said, uh, labor not to be rich. Labor not to be rich. Mm -hmm. is, it, uh, is, it, is it Proverbs 23? It sounds about yeah. right. It's, it's, it's somewhere. It's like Proverbs 23. Maybe it's Proverbs 23. I know it's Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23 and 4. Yep. <laughs> it says, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's, I'm going to start at 3. It's what, Proverbs 23 and 3. Be uh -huh. not desirous of his dainties. Mm. For they are deceitful meat. Meats. Deceitful meat. <laughs> you see? You see? So it's, it's more to meat than just like ground beef or steak. That's you right. know, meat meat can be uh, parabolic. Yeah, you know, yeah. for doctrines, for wisdom, for, for knowledge, you know, for understanding, you know, for things of this world, things you know, for possessions. World. That's right. You know? Right. Dainties. Yeah, they and dainties, they're going to like exquisite, exquisite things. Oh yeah, or extravagant yeah. things. Like the rob report. You are right. the rob report type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, verse four, it says, labor not to be rich. Yeah, labor not to be rich. 
Why? Because, like you, like you quoted, it's a rock of living, Lord, we can pull that real quick next. It's an easy thing in the sight to make the Lord, uh, uh, to, make for, to make you rich. That's nothing, man. It says, labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. And cease from thine own wisdom. Why? Because thy heart is desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it, man? That's right, huh? You know? Right. So the things that you're thinking in your mind, you know, you're, you're, you're afflicting yourself in your own counsel. Yeah. You know, yeah. the counsel of the Lord is esteemed above everything, not your own counsel, man. That's right. Huh? You know? That's 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 what's that's why Jake in the position that he in right now, because he wanted to seek after his own devices, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Um let me, let me jump back to Ecclesiastes. Uh, can you go back to, uh, can you go to uh, Sirach 11 and 14? Just real quick. Alright, and then jump down. Uh, read, read, like, uh, 14, 16, and then jump down to uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 11 and 14, it says, Prosperity. Oh yeah, I love this. Yeah, you're fucking right, everybody's out of the middle, but this is the heat right here. Prosperity and adversity. Life and death. Hold on, hold on. Read it Read from the top. Up. Oh, okay. Son, this is Ecclesiastes 11, 14. Uh -huh. Prosperity and adversity. So prosperity, you prospering. You know, adversity, you, you, you're in affliction. You know. Life and death. Life and death. <laughs> uh, poverty and riches. Poverty and riches. Come from the Lord. Come from the Lord. You know, so life comes from the Lord. Death comes from the Lord. Prosperity Amen. comes from the Lord. And I got to do the Hebrew Israelite. Yup, you as well, brother. Well, don't, they don't come from the Lord. They come from Yahweh. With Yahweh. 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 Yeah, that's the Lord. <laughs> He's our people, man. But he gave Moses' wow. name. He gave Moses' name. Uh, 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 a foolish king that would no longer be admonished. Ecclesiastes 11 and 14. <laughs> it says prosperity and adversity. Man, yeah. Life and death. Uh -huh. Poverty and riches. Uh -huh. Come of the Lord. Yeah. Well, yeah, how about some outside the reason you in that wheelchair right now? You know? <laughs> Ultimately, you know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, how about some outside did that to you, man? You know? Because it says that he, he injures. It huh. says that the Lord injures. Huh. Yeah, it says uh it says wisdom and knowledge and understanding. See, see, the fowler is being prepared for Jake. You see, you, you see, this is why you how about some outside got us out here, man. You know what I'm saying? The fowlers, the the, the, the fowlers being prepared for you, you want to come at us? You know, your enemy is preparing something great for you. A, a sword is purpose. Ah, right, bro. We letting you know what's coming down the pipe. Uh. Death is coming down the pipe for you Negroes, <laughs> Latinos, and Native American right, Indians, bro. man. The Most High has a sword furbished, man. Right. So lock you, brother. No, no you good. Yeah, because that, that's what's coming. That was the spirit that they went through like God, that. Yeah, God, huh? That, 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 that was the, yeah, how about some outside giving an example like, bro, you want to pop this? <laughs> bro, you got some way big, way, way bigger fish to pop. Yeah, you way know? bigger. But you want, they want something bad to happen to us while we out here prophesying. But but the, but the so-called, uh, the sword of the Lord, the wicked, which is the Most High sword, he got something, he got something vicious for you, Jakes, man. You know, horrible deaths, man. The, the, the scripture talks about he appointed, appointed four kinds. <laughs> oh, Lord willing, we can pull that yeah, later. Kind Lord willing. Yeah, 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 kind, yo. Read, says, read, read it 14 again, one more time. Kind, right? kind, bro. This is Ecclesiasticus 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity, uh -huh. life and death, poverty and riches uh -huh. come of the Lord. Come of the Lord, man. You know, so... What 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 would it tell you? A, a sparrow should not even fall from the sky without the most high sanctioning it, right? right? You know? Right. What you think? You down here doing something on your own accord? Right. You, you're not doing nothing on your own accord. The Heavenly Father, He controls everything, man. You know? You're you're just clay. We're just clay. We're just dirt. You know? Right, what what the scriptures say, who can measure the dust of Jacob? Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? Um you guys I was gonna pull that uh, make a lot. Oh um uh, uh, 1 Samuel 2? 1 Samuel 2 and 6. Yeah. 1 Samuel 2 and 6. It's uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 6. Uh -huh. The Lord killeth, killeth and maketh alive. Yeah, the Lord killeth and put the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh because that's the Lord when it's when, when it when it, that's in capital, right? That's in capital. Yeah, so when it's capital in the scriptures, that's talking about the most high. The heavenly father, the Lord, the master, the heavenly master, the heavenly father. That's right. So when they speak about the Lord in caps, that's talking about the, the most high, Yahweh. You know, what, right. what does it say? Uh, it says, uh, this is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth the Lord, Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh, killeth 
And make it for live. And make it for live. And, 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 see, and that's the biggest mystery that Jake don't understand. Yeah. That's the biggest mystery that Jake don't understand, man. They don't understand that the Heavenly Father sanctions death out here, man. You know? They think that Satan just down here running, down here doing his own thing, man. The Heavenly Father, uh, Satan is a direct messenger for the Heavenly Father, man. He works, he, he's a son of the Heavenly Father, man. That's right. That's right. You know? He's just, he's just doing according to what he was created to do. God, huh? You know? Um, it says, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up, man. You know, so that if you if you got put in the grave, the Heavenly Father, he sanctioned your ass to get put in the grave. You know, if your ass got broke out of the grave, which the Heavenly Father, he can bring you out of the grave. He did it to Apostle Paul. God, huh? Yeah, how was I myself? God, you know? Lazarus. God, bro, it said that the souls of the, uh, 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 of, uh, the servants of the Lord they also arose out of the out grave when Yahweh yeah, yeah, shot died, yeah, yeah. you know? So that's not, yeah, Lazarus, that's another one, you know? It says, uh, the Lord make it poor. Make, the Lord make it poor, you know? So that's why our people are in the position that they're, we're considered the poor, mm -hmm. you know? Why do you think our people in the ghettos, the bayous, the reservations, man? The barrios, yeah. The boroughs, mm -hmm. the projects, the PJs, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. The Heavenly Father put you in that position, man. Says and make it rich and make it rich. So if you got rich, the heavenly Father made you rich, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and bring it low and bring it low. <laughs> if the heavenly Father, uh, if, if the heavenly, if you low, the heavenly Father brought you low, man. He wanted you to be low. Why? Because you was in a position where you was being exalted. You know, so you had to be a base. You uh -huh. know, the heavenly Father had to get you right. You know, and lift it up. Uh huh. And lift it up. So if the heavenly Father uh, wants you to be well. Look, look at the man of the Lord. Look at the man of the Lord. We got lifted up, man. We was in a low state. We was in a dead state, you know. But the spirit of life entered into us, you know. It says he raises up the poor. He raises up the poor out of the dust. Out of the dust, man. Out of the state of confusion, which the heavenly Father, he's gonna raise up our people out of the state of confusion that they're in right now. You know, all the all the madness that they spew. The Heavenly Father is going to eventually take them out of their state of mind and, and, and make them kings and princes, you know? You're not going to do that on your own. Jake can't do that on their own, man, you know? What the hell kind of movement you going to come with, up with to make yourself a king and a priest? Not nothing. Nothing. Because it ain't been working thus far. <laughs> <laughs> he says, yeah. and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. And lifted up the beggar from the dunghill, just like this Jake, that Jake who was exit for the hat in the, in, in the dollar. You know what I'm saying? He, he gonna be a king in the, in, in, uh, in the kingdom of heaven, man. He gonna be a priest. What's going on, brother? And to make them inherit the throne of glory. Ooh, and to make them inherit the throne of glory, man. So the most lowest of lowest of Jake that you'll look like, man, he's nothing, man. That's a bum. He gonna be a he gonna, he gonna be the greatest in the kingdom. Well, the least, the last shall be the first. And the, and, the, and the people among them shall be like David. God, God no. Yeah. You know, and we, oh man. You know what I'm saying? What did it say? You and um, Matthew 6, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed as one of these. You know? It says, for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, man. You know? Once again, everything on this earth belongs to the Heavenly Father. You know? And he has set the world upon them. <laughs> Woo! God, he has set the world upon them, man. You know? So yeah, how about Shemel Shai? He's in control of every single thing out here, man. You know? Uh, oh yeah, Khan. The Lord have not done before the Amos 3. Amos 3, yeah. Uh, Amos 3 and 6. Oh yeah, you can read 7 too. Now wait, bro, this is a minute. No, no, God, bro. Bro, we're bringing out them, uh, them sleeper strips. I know, right? God, brother. Shoot, we need to be need uh, full of these. God, huh? No, no. This is Amos 3 and 6. Uh -huh. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in a city? And, and this is the trumpet. What? Isaiah 58, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yeah. You know? Yeah, God, God, this is the trumpet. God, Good bro. Point, I... What would say? I have sent watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall not hold their peace day or night. Mm -hmm. What does the watchman do? He blows Lord the trumpet. Because mm -hmm. the sword is coming. We God. let our people know that the sword is on, the, on its way. God. You know, a sword is on its way. God. Yeah. What it say? And if, if, if the trumpets should give forth an uncertain sound, then how should they prepare themselves to the battle? You know? 
That's why we come out here and come straight out the scripts, not out our heart. That's right. You know, because if we come out our heart, that's not preparing you for the battle, man. Slayer. Come on, bro. This is the battle right here. You know? Slayers, man. Come on, bro. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Yeah, so, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be, not be afraid, man? All right. What what the hell you think we out here just for uh, our, our own uh, personal benefits, man? God, you gotta be, man, you're, if you think that, you're smited with that, man. <laughs> That's a curse within itself, man. You think Jake just gonna come out here and stand on the corner, on the corner and, 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 and cry aloud out the Bible for no reason, man? Right, God, bro. Come on, man. It says, uh, shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Yeah, so if evil happens in the city, the Lord, you how about Shimei outside did it? You know? Ain't nobody else did it. The Lord, you how about Shimei outside did it? Surely the Lord, Yahweh, will do nothing. But he revealed this secret unto his servants, the prophets. So before you have my Shimei outside pop up, he's gonna send his prophets out there, man. You know? That's, that's, that, that's their warning to let you know the sword coming, man. You know? But be, be, before things pop off, the Heavenly Father, he ain't like Esau. He ain't like e Esau. He ain't, on you. You're right, kind. Esau, he ain't telling you what he's going to do to you. He ain't telling you he's going to come through these neighborhoods and mow you down. He, he ain't telling you that uh, he created coronavirus in a lab. You know? He, he, he's not telling you that he's trying, he's giving out all this money because he's trying to cover uh, uh He's trying to collapse his infrastructure and his economy yeah. so he can roll in uh, this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, and force you to put it in you and your children. Right. He's not telling you this, but the Heavenly Father, he, he gonna let you know what's up. He like, look, if you don't get right, I'm finna kill you. Yeah. Yeah. you no, know, he's straightforward. And when you go into that word upright, it means straightforward. Yeah. The Heavenly Father is the most upright, you know? Yeah, he is the most upright, bro. That's right, man. And that's and that's what he's not a man that he should lie. The scripture says, nah, nah. he's not a man that he should lie. Nah, I'm not saying I'm not saying this stuff, you know. And, and ultimately, we was going into how he, he's he's doing this stuff for your benefit, man, not I, for his own. I'm holding that in second Ezra nine too. Nah. Oh, but yeah, that's beautiful. Huh? That's beautiful that you said that. Matter, matter of fact, can you get uh, you got some up? What's it going uh, that? No, that was it on that. You get Luke twelve and thirty two real quick, Papa nah. Kasha. This is the book of Luke 12, verse 32. Fear not, little flock. Y'all only want to know about Popeye. That's it, bro. Yeah, uh, yeah, he Crazy. This is uh, Luke 12 and 32. Uh -huh. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yeah, it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, man. You know? What the Heavenly Father gonna get from giving you the kingdom? That's for you. You know what I'm saying? Right. He already got the kingdom. He's good. You're yeah, right, God. You know? He's good. He said, the earth is my footstool. <laughs> God, bro. And the heavens is my throne. Yeah. I'm chilling. You know? Right. right. You need the kingdom. I don't need it. No. You know? You're destitute. <laughs> God. God. A destitute prostitute. <laughs> God, huh? <laughs> good. Fear not, little flock, uh -huh. for it is your power's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yeah, so, and then on top of it, the Heavenly Father, he's pleased with it. When you go into that word pleasure, it means his desire, his good will. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the Heavenly Father's good will. He wants you to be good, man. He wants you to be well off, man. I, I know my thoughts that I have towards you. Huh. You know, matter of fact. They, they are only good. No, I, I know my, no, that too. Huh. But I know my thoughts that I have towards you to, 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 uh, to give you peace and to not expect it. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, grab it. Yeah, let me grab that real quick. Come. 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 So the Heavenly Father, what, what I tell you about that in Hebrews 12 too, it says that he said, uh, your father, you have fathers of the flesh that corrected you after their own flesh, you know? But the Heavenly Father, he did it so you could be partakers of his holy. You know? That's for you, you know? Going on, brother? How you doing? Hey, all right, brother. Um, dang, I can't find it. Um, so 
schools up there. I know the girls are at school. It's a lot of things like that. You got something for you, but I'm just going to Con, con. Let me just pull. Yeah, let me pull the sick of Israel. This, uh. Oh, okay, con. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Okay, con, con. This is Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Mm. Thoughts of peace Woo! Con. And, and not of evil. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful precept. To give you an expected end. Woo! You give you that expected outcome, con, man. Bro. Con, give you that bro. expected outcome. Yeah, what you, what you expect. What, 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 what did Jake want at the end of the day? He want rest. He yeah. want to chill. He just want to be at peace. You know, oh, you want to rise up to play. Rise up to play, man. <laughs> Good. And that's what you have about Shemash. It's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And that's why I pulled that scripture. Nah, I'm going to read that one more time. Nah, nah, yep. it's, it's your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Nah. And this is why. It says, I, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith mm. the Lord, Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, mm. to give you an expected end. Oh, uh, hey, you're good. Uh, we got some more flight. Um, no, that's it. That's You'll it. get Ezekiel 33 and 11 real quick for me. Pop this up. You know, you know, you got so sick. <laughs> God, bro. You said Ezekiel what I? Uh, 33 and 11. That was, that was a fire precept, though, all right? God, God. Come on, bro. It's Ezekiel 33 and 11. God. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse... 11 it says say unto them as i live saith the lord yahweh and, and, and the them and the them is israel the them is israel you know which these whole scriptures is talking about israel it's not talking about no other nation I don't know. say unto them as i live saith yahweh he says as i live how about you not say he don't even have no beginning you know so as i live you know It says, uh, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Yeah, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked. The Heavenly Father is not pleased with Jake dying. You think the Heavenly Father has thoughts towards you to be in the position that you're in? The Heavenly Father, that's, that's, not the, that's not the Lord's purposes and thoughts towards you, man. He don't want them for you, man. You know? But that the wicked turn from his way. That, so that's, that's the desire of the Lord. He wants you to turn from your way. Why? So you can prosper. You know? And live. And live. <laughs> you know, and which which in the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna be living in the ways of Yahweh Shem You know? Turn ye. Turn ye from evil. For turn ye from your evil ways. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? Yeah, why you wanna die for it? The Heavenly Father don't want you to die, so why are you choosing death? You know? Yeah. Are all those that hate me love death. He that sinned up against me wrong of his own soul. You know? That's why at the end of the day, the Heavenly Father, he don't want that for you, man. The Heavenly Father wants the best for you, man. You know? Come on, bro. But if you don't want it for yourself, then see. Choose what you want, then. You Come know? On, bro. It, it even tells you to choose life. Come it says, I set before you life and death. Oh, what? Uh, Jeremiah uh, 83? Yeah. <laughs> that, I, I brought that in. <laughs> Jeremiah 83? I think, I think that's the one you're you talking about. about. I think the most high got us going back to basics. Yeah, kind, right? yeah, kind, now. Nah, bro. Jeremiah 8 and 3. Nah. Come on, come on. Jeremiah 8 and 3. Reads. And death shall be chosen rather than life. That's, that's not the one, is That's not. That's that's still yeah, good too. I, got, I know which one you saw. I think you're talking about Joshua, uh, Joshua 20. This day. Joshua 24 and 14. That's the one you're talking about. Well, read, yeah, read that one though, too. It's, it's, and, it's a precept for that. Okay, we jump to that one after this. Nah. It says, uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 8. And three, uh -huh. and death shall be chosen rather than life. Yeah, because you have Bashim outside, he's life. You know what I'm saying? He's life. You know? Right, yeah. Can you read on? Yep. By all the residue, it says, by all the residue of them that remain of his evil family. And that's the two thirds. <laughs> that's the residue of the evil family. Of this evil family. Because when you go into uh, the word remnant, one of the uh, synonyms for it is residue. Residue. Know, uh, the residue, so the residue of this evil family, you uh, know, that's what's left over after the election. God, God. <laughs> you know, they, they chose death. Yeah, yeah. And when, you, when you deal with residue, it's usually something that you don't really want anyway. Con, uh, it's like I took the, 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 uh, the most desirable yeah. part, and what was left was the residue. Con, uh, con, you know? uh, yeah. Or 
the adverse to that, you can have the remnant or the piece that you just saved for yourself. Yeah. Like you got, oh, oh I'ma save this for later. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, I want, oh, you know, you got your piece of cake and you put it in the refrigerator, you're like, oh, I'ma eat this later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the, that's the remnant that you save for yourself for later, yourself, you know? It says, uh, which remain in all the places whether I have driven them. Woo! In all the places where I have where I have driven them. Which lets you know that our people are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and our people, it's gonna be, um, uh, our people are gonna choose death wherever they at, you know? So, some of our people are gonna choose death wherever they at, you know? It says, uh, I have driven them, save the Lord of hosts. Uh-huh. I think that's it on that. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Uh, get that Joshua 24. That's the, that's the one you just quoted, I think. That's a good one too. I ain't brought that out in a minute either. Bro, we go, I'm saying we're going back to basics, nah. bro. Well, they got them boys out here, boy. A troop is sitting at city, boy. Yeah, Georgia yeah. State Troopers, the yeah. troops. You know? So Joshua 24 and 14. Uh -huh. Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity uh -huh. and in truth uh -huh. and put away the gods with your, uh, which your fathers served on the other side of the flood uh -huh. and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. Uh -huh. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, uh -huh. choose you this day whom you will serve. Is that, is that the one? That's not exactly it. But that's a good one. Too. That is. <laughs> that is. <laughs> <laughs> but that lets, that lets you know these scriptures are. They're linked. Yeah, kind. Yeah, they they go all go with each other. Yeah, you know? Choose who you gonna serve, Con, man. Bro. Yeah, you know? Con, man. And you cho choose life, man. Con, bro. That's, that's a little bit more now. Um, it says uh, where I was on fourteen. Yeah, uh, fifteen. And it's and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day. Whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in those in, the, in whose land he dwelt. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. <laughs> yeah, that was Joshua. Yeah. Joshua was like, "Hey, look, man, you can choose what you want. What you, what, what you want, life or death? Which one you want? You know, yeah, yeah. which one you want? You know, because you you see what happened to uh, the God, uh, those who were serving the gods." Uh, on the other side of the flood, they got their ass flooded out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you want to serve them and get flooded out, you know, or you want to serve your how about you shot and get flooded out, like like Jake said, I'm flooded. You know, flooded out. Flooded, oh, flooded oh, out. Nice, you know, nice. you want to get flooded out by your how about shot? You want to get flooded out <laughs> on the <laughs> other side of your how about you know? Yeah, because you know how yeah, they talk them. You can get flooded out in a hell of bullets. <laughs> Because they get wet up. God, yeah. you get wet. God, you get wet yo. up. It's all kinds God. of ways to get flooded. God, bro. You get wet out here. God, bro. Choose this day. God. Which flood you want? God, bro. Yup. I want to be dripped and flooded. <laughs> oh shit! You go try to find that Chicago out here. Uh, choose life. Choose. Choose life that you may live. Yeah, choose life that you may live. I know. I know. Uh, let me get this real quick while you try to pull it in. Oh, that was your second every seven to fifty nine. Oh, that, that's what it was? Um, this is, this is yeah, another one, but I like this one too. <laughs> God, I, I got one. You want to write this it out? Second, yeah, I might be okay. right up. This is second Ezra 7 and 59. It's for, it says, For this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people. Maybe I should do that. Uh, this is second Ezra 7 and 59. 58 mm -hmm. it says that if he be overcome he shall suffer as thou hast said but if he get the victory he shall receive the thing that I say verse 59 it says for this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people who he lit uh, people while he lived saying choose thee life that thou mayest live. Mm -hmm. Yep, that thou mayest yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yep. con, con. Con, bro. And that's, that's what Moses was basically saying, man. Con. Choose life, man. I, I, or, or I set before you, this day I set before you, you. Let me life grab and that. death. Let me grab that. I set before you life and death, you know. 
Alright, let me pull that real quick. I'll just lock it. Are you good? No worries. No worries at all. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna read this real quick. Right. This uh Proverbs chapter eight, verse thirty six. It says, "But he that sinneth against me, wrong of his own soul. All they that hate me, love death. Woo. All they that hate, Lord, that, that hate the power, that hate the Most High, nah, nah, you love death. Nah, nah. And the wages of sin. And, and so like, it's just a quick point. And this was King Solomon speaking, who was Yahweh Shah Mashiach in the reincarnation." All those that hate me love death. You know? You hate your house side, then you because he is life. Our life is here in Hamashiach. You know? Uh -huh. So you hate him, you love death. You know? And in, 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 in the book of Deuteronomy 30 and 19, it says it, and then it says it again here in Jeremiah 21 and 8. It says, uh, set before you life and death. Mm. Let me go to the one in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy uh -huh. first though. This is Deuteronomy 30 and 19. Uh -huh. I call heaven and earth. Deuteronomy 30 and 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that thou, both thou and thy seed may live. Ooh. And this was the precept to the other one I was reading when he said, Moses said, choose life. Yep. This is what yep. Moses was letting the children yeah, of Israel know. All them was together. That, that was the spirit. Yeah, God. God. <laughs> that was the spirit. God, bro. So, so I set, I've, I've set in life before you mm. this day, man. Yeah. So, so when Moses was explaining to the children of Israel, much like the same way we're explaining to you guys right now, to the children of Israel, you know, regardless if you hear it before bear, right. you know, we're laying before you this day, life and death. Choose which, choose which way you gonna go. Nah, nah. Choose life. Yep. You read, uh, this is Jeremiah 21 18. It says, And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. Mm. You know, so that's basically the, the same, that's saying the same thing as it says in, uh, as it says in Deuteronomy 13 and 18. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, so Yahweh see my he does all things. You know what I'm saying? He's omnipotent, you know. Come. Um, verse 15, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord. Did I, did I read that? Ecclesiasticus 11 and 21. You want to hear it? This is Ecclesiasticus 11 and 21. Uh -huh. Marvel not at the works of sinners. Yeah, so it says marvel not at the works of sinners, you know. But trust in the Lord, Yahweh. But trust in the Lord, Yahweh. That made me think of uh, Psalms 37. Mm -hmm. When it said, uh, evil doers shall be cut down, oh, for the no. wicked shall be cut off, All you know. Right. Thank you. No Thank problem. You, man, for sure. okay. She, she bugged the fuck out, but you know, Lord Smite. willing, so she she get our man of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Let me read it again, bro. Uh, <laughs> bro. What's going on, brother? You said what, brother? Your Israelite brother. 
Is that what? What say, brother? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I, I'm in a rental right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what my brother, you know what I'm saying? I just woke up my I understand, brother. You know, if I had my whip, you know I wouldn't let you did it. It's honorable that he want to work again. Nah, nah, nah. This is the brother. What's that, brother? Navigated like that. <laughs> this uh Sirach chapter 11, verse 21. It says, Marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. Woo! So it says, Marvel not at the works of sinners, man. Because if you're doing wicked, yeah, about you not gonna eventually judge you for the wickedness that you're doing, man. You're not gonna get away with sinning. Well, I tell you that all the sinners of my people should die by the sword, man. So if you want to choose wickedness, then you're going to perish therein, man. You know? So that's why the Heavenly Father says, Marvel not at the works of sinners. Because of what Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 tell you. It says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and, and it go well with him, you know, eventually he's going to be punished. Just roughly paraphrasing, man. All right? So even though you get away with wickedness, and you prosper in wickedness for a, a, a momentary moment, eventually the Heavenly Father is going to get you, man. Eventually the Heavenly Father is going to get you, you know? It says, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord and abide in thy labor. For it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord, Yahabashimel Shah, on a sudden to make a poor man rich. You know, and that's an easy thing for Yahabashimel Shah, man. You know, well, look at us. You know, me, me, just a personal testimony. I was just a nigga in the world, man. Just a dirtbag nigga in the world, man. You know, but the Heavenly Father took me from that, you know, to, uh, 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 the Lord willing, Lord willing, a man of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know, took took me from a, a, a nobody to a priest, man. Ooh. You know, <laughs> that's heavy, man. That's heavy, you know, God. that's that, that was easy for you. How about you, Shot? Easy. Look how easy it was for me to turn away from the life of wickedness to a life of righteousness, man. You know, that but that was all through you. How about you, Shot? Because it's an easy thing unto him. You know. That's true. That's true. Oh yeah, so another. No, no, no. Where you, where, where you 22. It says, The blessing of the Lord, Yahweh, is the reward of the godly. Uh huh. Oh, oh the blessing of the oh, Lord. I want to read that one more time. That's like it. It's fire. The blessing of the Lord is the reward of the godly. Ooh. So that's how you give him a nice little gift. Kind of. You know, that's kind of. to him. Be godly. Kind bro. You know, that's how you can be, be a good gift for the heavenly Lord. You know. When you go into uh, godliness, you know, uh, or in ungodliness, godliness uh, equates to fear and perfection. You know, ungodliness uh, equates to uh, non-fear and, and being irreverent towards Yahabashim al you know? So if you reverence Yahabashim al you give him his due, you say you're supposed to give him his due. Render unto him his due. Well, you're not supposed to come to him empty-handed. Kind of. You're supposed to pay. So that's that's how you're godly unto Yahabashim al Shah. Guess, guess what he's going to do? He's going to reward you for that, man. Because what? Yahabashim al Shah is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed towards his name. You know? The blessing of the Lord is in the reward of the God. Uh-huh. It says, uh, and suddenly he maketh his blessing to flourish. Uh-huh. You can break it down. I, so like, I just want to make sure we're good.